Hey YouTube, it's Sean here, and today I'm back to give you guys a review of the Adidas EQT Advance 9116 in the Clear Onyx colorway. So the official colorway for this shoe is Clear Onyx Footwear White and Core Black. They retail for a price of 110 USD or 160 Canadian dollars. So these were actually hooked up to me for free from the folks at Foot Locker Canada at their EQT launch event last Thursday. So if you haven't seen my recap video, I've added the link in the description down below. So this 9116 model was debuted last year, hence the name 9116, because it takes the original 1991 running model and it's updated and modernized for 2016. So the majority of this shoe is a combination of this clear onyx and footwear white color. So the midfoot and the toe box area is made up of this stretchy mesh material that's almost in this camo style print. The official description about this shoe on adidas.ca and .com doesn't mention that this mesh material is prime knit, so most likely it isn't. But regardless, the quality on this mesh is pretty good. It's actually quite stretchy and quite soft and it really feels similar to prime knit. On the toe box area, on both the lateral and the medial side, there is this white patch of nubuck material, which really feels like felt. The midfoot features these rectangular patches of nylon material that forms the shape of the Adidas three stripes. And these serve to secure your laces in place. Around the collar area and wrapping around the back, there is this semi-translucent white TPU component, which acts to add more stability to the back of the shoe and it acts as a heel counter for your heels. On the back of this shoe, there is this synthetic suede material in white, which in all honesty will probably be a dirt magnet, but when it's brand new and clean, it is a very nice look. The shoe is made in this booty-like system, meaning the tongue is one piece and connected to the rest of the upper of the shoe. At the edge of the tongue, there is this Adidas equipment branding that's fused on to the mesh material. And at the base of the tongue, there is this EQT branding that's found on this suede patch right here. The sock liner of this shoe is in this clear onyx color and I'm not sure exactly what the material is but it is very soft and it feels almost like suede. So the whole shoe sits atop your EVA foam midsole and one of my favorite touches about this shoe is this three stripe branding that's painted onto the midsole in black. Taking a look at the outsole, it's predominantly all white. There is accents of black which is found on these rubber pieces on the toe cap as well as on the back heel. So this really reinforces the shoe and adds more durability in the areas where you really need it. The removable ortholite insole on the shoe is in this green color featuring the equipment Adidas branding on the heel. As far as sizing goes, these are pretty true to size. So I tried on both my true size 10 and a half as well as my half size down which was a size 10. And I felt that going with my true size was a bit more comfortable as this shoe is kind of narrow around the midfoot area and going with my true size just gave it a more overall comfortable fit. In terms of comfort, this shoe does feature only a EVA foam midsole. So it's not going to have boost. It's not going to have something like Zoom Air on a Nike shoe. It's just your standard foam setup. So it is going to be not the most comfortable shoe out there, but if you're looking for just an everyday casual sneaker just to run some errands, then this will probably do the job. It's not gonna be mind blowing, it's not gonna be great, but it is gonna be okay. From a design standpoint, Adidas did a really good job with this shoe. I really like this angular look of this shoe, especially how this toe box area just slopes down and gives you this nice, aggressive looking silhouette. It almost reminds me of how the OG Air Maxes look when they had this much more sharp looking silhouette as opposed to the more rounded toe box that they have in the retros made today. So now let me give you guys a look at how these EQT advances look on feet. That wraps up my review of the Adidas EQT Advance 9116 in the clear onyx and white colorway. Be sure to leave a comment down below to let me know what you guys think of this and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more videos to come in the next few days. As always, thank you guys again for watching and until my next review, I will see you guys then.